Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Darjay and Aileen. Today is the first official video to my bridal series. So I'm so excited to share what I have for you guys today. Today we are going to be making bridesmaid boxes. So we're gonna be making some bridesmaid boxes that look just like this. Super cute, easy, and very inexpensive to make. With all of the materials that I use for this project all together, it cost me no more than a hundred bucks. And I'll get the total for you guys in the description bar below, just so you guys can know. For those of you who are planning a wedding just like me, or you just like to watch wedding stuff. If you wanna go ahead and take a look at my DIY bridesmaid boxes, just stay tuned. Okay guys, so while we're doing this, you wanna make sure that you have very clean hands before you get started so you don't get any fingerprints, like oily fingerprints or any, um, you know, myth, myth halves on your craft. So I got these stemless champagne glasses from Amazon. They are real glass and I got these on Amazon for about 25 bucks for a set of 12. So that's probably like, I wanna say like $2 a piece for each glass, which is a really good deal. I'm gonna be putting these gold name decals on the glasses. And I got these off of Etsy. They were about $7 for seven names. I'll be putting all the links for everything that I purchased down below, it, just in case you didn't get it here in the video. So I'm just gonna be using some glass cleaner and a cotton ball to clean off my glasses before I put the name decals on them. So yeah, you just wanna make sure that you wipe off your glasses really good and they're nice and dry before you begin to put any type of name decal on it because you do not want these to unstick. And I believe this one you can clean the dish like normal and um, wash it and so forth. Probably not put it in the um, dishwasher but hand wash them you should be fine. The sticker shouldn't come off but I mean we shall see. All of my glasses are now cleaned, so now I'm going to add my sticker detail decal on it. So the names are just in this little like cursive font, and you can get these, I believe, in any type of color you want, and you can even get them with glitter on them and all that good stuff. I just got gold because gold is part of my wedding colors, and I didn't want to get the glitter because once the bridesmaids like wash these and stuff. The glitter is gonna make it look dull and it's gonna come off so yeah I'm gonna explain this the best way possible it does come with directions but I mean you guys kind of get the gist of it you just have to peel this back this little casing that it comes on peel it back and stick it on here it's really self-explanatory wait hold up I think I did something wrong okay so you're going to want to peel it from the white side so this white paper side you want to make sure that none of the decal is sticking onto there i decided that i wanted my um names to be diagonal so you can do um diagonal straight across um vertically well you can do them vertically diagonal straight whatever you decide but i'm gonna go ahead and do mine diagonal so you're just gonna want to line up your name what I like to do first is hit that corner before any of the name starts touching the glass so you kind of give yourself a little guideline and then um, start putting the name onto the glass because once you put it on there it ain't coming off so you just want to keep that in mind when you're doing these. So I'm just using a piece of cardboard box you can use a card or anything that has a um, anything that has a sturdy edge and you just want to go in there 
and kind of rub down the name. That way it sticks onto the glass without any issues. It's not gonna pull right up when you peel off the um, clear casing. But you're gonna grab this clear casing and you're just gonna peel that back, making sure that you don't peel the name off. Press that just to make sure that the name is on there and it's not gonna come off and there's no pieces that are bubbling up. And you have yourself a nice little named champagne glass and it's really cute and personable. If you like to do DIY stuff like this, this is like the perfect thing for you because it's a really personable gift and it's something that your bridesmaids are gonna get to keep forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these and then we'll move on to our next task. Okay, so I just got done with my glasses and oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so in love with them. I wish I would have got myself a name tag to put on one for me. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so now that the hardest part is over and done with, let's go ahead and get ready to set up all of our goodies that we got for the bridesmaids. So I'm just gonna be taking a big bowl, any big bowl that you guys have. You don't have to do this step, but this is something I like to do to keep myself a little bit organized. So I just got this crinkle paper from Hobby Lobby. These were about $2.99. I also got them in gold. The gold ones were $1.99. What I would recommend if you're gonna be shopping at any store like Hobby Lobby, Joann's, or Michael's, always, always get a coupon before you go in there, please, because why pay full price? It just doesn't make any sense. And we're doing this wedding on a budget, guys. Remember that. So I got all of these things for 40% off. So basically, they were about a dollar after I got done. So yeah, use and take advantage of the discounts that are here to help us. What I'm gonna do is just take some of this paper and put it in my bowl. Hopefully it all fits in here, I don't really know. I'm actually gonna help myself out here and put a gold one. And this one is called Craft Paper Brown. So I'm gonna stick with two for right now. I'm just gonna stick with two for right now and see how that treats me. So the reason I put it in the bowl is so I can go ahead and mix it all in together and it can be a little bit um, easier for me to mix rather than putting like some of the brown paper, then the gold, then the brown paper, you can just grab and go. So that's what I'm doing here. So after it's mixed, it should look something like this. Look like some funfetti type of stuff. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put this off to the side. So I got these cute little, um, they're called, I don't know exactly the name of these, like how to pronounce it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, gable, gable boxes, gable boxes. And um, I got these at Hobby Lobby as well. They were $1.29, can't really beat that. And they're so cute and so like perfect for what I'm about to do right now. I looked into getting some of the boxes with the lids on them, but I'm telling you those boxes were literally like 10 bucks a piece. And I have seven bridesmaids and that's $70 on just boxes. And I was like, no, we're not about to do that. That's basically all of my budget for these little gifts that I'm about to give my bridesmaids. So no. So I just went with these and I like these way better because they're cute. They come with these little gold um, polka dots on them. You can get them in just the plain craft brown color or you can get them in white. They had them in um, black and white stripes. They had all types of different color ones. I just stuck with these because like I said, gold is part of my colors. So these are really easy to assemble. They'll come flattened out like this. And all you're gonna do is just unflatten it, press it down in the inside so that way that it stays square and not goes back flat. And then it should look something like this. Real simple, easy to assemble. 
not hard at all. Now that we have these set up, I'm just going to go ahead and take, take my little confetti paper and I'm going to fill the boxes with that. So you just wanna take about a handful and just dump it in there. I'm taking probably about two handfuls for each box or maybe three, probably about three handfuls for each box. And you don't have to add this either. You can do tissue paper or whatever floats your boat. This is just more for the aesthetic to make it look nice and cute, but it is not necessary for you to add at all if you feel like it's just something that you don't really wanna do. Inside, it looks just like this. So I got these at BevMo for about $4 a piece. So each pack was $4. Um, I got rosé and I got Moscato. You can get whatever you want. Like I said, I'm doing this on a budget. So these are what I got and I'm pretty sure most of my, my bridesmaids like this type of stuff. So yeah. <laughs> and it was cute because it's pink and the other one is like a little gold looking color. So that's the reason I really got them. And I also had a BevMo rewards card. You can get a BevMo rewards card free obviously if you're over 21 years old but um that helped me out because i saved three bucks so actually i only paid about seven dollars with tax and everything for both sets of these so you can't really pass that up for some alcohol one of my bridesmaids does not drink i got her a martinelli um i'm pretty sure everybody has had these before but i just got her a simple martinelli i found these at dollar tree two for a dollar so it was 50 cents and then i got one to keep or you can give it away to whoever else so i'm going to be adding that in there too i'm also going to be adding in some lashes because if you guys know me i am a freaking lash queen i love putting on false eyelashes so i went ahead and hooked my bridesmaids up these were about two bucks on aliexpress and they had so many different styles for you to choose from so yeah, if your bridesmaids don't really like to wear that much makeup, they had ones that were not as full and then they had thicker ones. They have all different types, more natural to more voluminous. So you can do whatever floats your boat with those. Also got these pens from AliExpress as well. These were about 70 cents each. Just cute little pens. Everybody can use a pen to put in their purse and it has a little diamond at the top. It kind of looks like a little wedding ring. So that's why I really got them. And they're just cute and they were cheap. So why not? And then lastly, I got some tweezers. Everybody can use tweezers. You can use tweezers to put these eyelashes on, to tweeze your eyebrows before my little wedding. Whatever you feel like doing, everybody can always use tweezers. So I got these in a variety of colors, gold, black, and this little iridescent one, cause I know for a fact my sister likes this type of stuff. So I mainly got them for her, but you know. All we're gonna do now is just go ahead and assemble our box. What I have here, and I'm not gonna show you guys the front because it has phone numbers on it, but basically these are just cards with um, all of my bridesmaids information, such as phone numbers and names of the other bridesmaids, just in case they need any help, comments, concerns, questions with anything, they can refer to another bridesmaid and they don't gotta go bugging me. <laughs> just kidding and it's just a simple little card with a list of numbers down below of the bridal party and i just made a little side note to put these are the other bridal party's numbers just in case you have any confusion questions or concerns hit them up so now that i showed you guys everything that i got for my bridesmaids let's go ahead and assemble these things so here is the inside of the box. I'm sorry if it's a little shaky. I'm doing this from one hand. So I'm just gonna take my glass and I'm placing that diagonally inside the box along with the eyelashes and the tweezers. I'm going to put them inside of the glasses only because I don't want them to get lost with all of the crinkle paper and then my bridesmaids end up losing some of the gift. And then a pen goes in the cup as well. And then your little wine can go in there.
So there you have it guys. These are my boxes that I made. I made a total of seven because I have seven bridesmaids. I really, really love the way they came out. They came out super cute and I think they're really going to like them. So if you have any questions for me on these bridesmaids box, just leave a comment below. And all of the items that I used in today's video will be in the description bar below. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first video to my bridal series. Stay tuned for next week for my groomsmen bags. I'll be showing you how I DIY those as well. If you like this video, give it a like. Go ahead and comment below and also subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.